Hello everybody, welcome back. Another AI video. This one, we're in text-to-speech OpenAI or TTSOpenAI.com. Links in the description below. And this, this is a follow-up video to my previous one where we talked about not only how good this app was, but the fact that you now get unlimited text-to-speech functionality. This is absolutely crazy. I want to show you that first and then I'm going to show you how you can use some of the other functions and some of the other options inside this platform. All right, so let's look at the unlimited factor first here. You'll see here I am logged in and under my account, I'm just going to click on my name. Look at this. It says current plan. I've got the free plan. I haven't paid for anything. And here it says it right here. Unlimited create speech from text. Crazy. So this is unlimited and it's completely free. Now let's test it out. And But before I test it out, take a look at this. You get the access to the open AI voices. These are not, you know, voices that some robot <laughs> created like, hello, my name is Curtis. No, these are the open AI premium voices as well as their system voices. So this, this is what sets this apart from other apps in my opinion, because when apps say create free text to speech, the voices are almost always awful and you just, they're almost unusable. Let's take a look at some of their voices, then I'll show you how to create the text. All right, so let's create some free text to speech and I'm going to be I'm just going to state up front here. I believe this app in its current format is better than 11 Labs and Lovo AI. This is remarkable because of the quality of the voices. 11 Labs, I'll be honest, is the industry standard for this type of thing, but the voices here are just as good in my opinion. All right, how do you do it? Simple. First thing, I'm going to input some text. So I just got some, you know, dummy text here about William Shakespeare's Macbeth. This can be on any topic you want. And then from there, all you got to do is either create speech and that will just go ahead and cook it right away. Or you could try out some of the voices here. So let's go ahead and do a quick sample though. This is the first voice is Alloy and it's pretty good. But check this one out here by Nova. If this doesn't sound like a natural voice, I don't know what does. Let's listen. In the kitchen, the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the air. The loaves were golden brown and crusty on the outside. and That has incredible inflection, intonation, all of those things, elocution. What are the other I-O-N words? I, I'm trying to think of them. <laughs> it's incredible. Here's another one. This is a uh, male voice. Uh, it's a little older, mature, and experienced, and it is fantastic. And these, again, are open AI voices. Listen to this one. The train chugged along the tracks, carrying passengers to their destinations. That is an incredible voice. Now, if that doesn't work for you, there are so many more voices. You could try out more of these ones here. Here's Echo. In the heart of the city, there is a lot of great ones. And then you can click on system voices like I did here and scroll through all of these. I'll be honest with you, Neil, Brian, and I've got a few other favorited here, Alice. These are incredible voices. You can't go wrong with any of them. Let's listen to Alice. This is a system voice. Bookmark. By evening, Perot secured another dog, an old husky. Ma that is an absolutely amazing voice. So anyways, there you go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select, who was I selecting? Nova for this one. Now, all you need to do to get to this stage here and create unlimited speech is just go down here, bottom right, click create speech. It's going to take a few seconds. I'll come back when it's done. I'll let you listen to it. And then I'm going to show you Storymaker, Documents, and a few other really cool things. All right, welcome back. So here is the first crack at it using Nova, and she is young, energetic, and engaging. Listen to a few seconds of what we got here, and then check the, it's amazing. Check this out. In William Shakespeare's Macbeth, the witches play a crucial role in the play's exploration of ambition, fate, fate and moral corruption. That is incredible. If I want to keep that, I just click the download button here, and it's William mine. Shakespeare's Macbeth. All you got to do now is click the three down, the three little buttons here. Pardon me, the three dots. Download it. Job done. I have that. Now, if I was thinking of what I would use this for, well, I don't know. I mean, you could put in, for example, a snippet of... Uh, you could do a play with this, like one person's Hamlet. Hamlet speaks, and he uses Alloy's voice. And then, and then <laughs> I don't know, Horatio speaks, and he uses Onyx's voice. You could do so many different things with this tool. So there we go. That's the first step. This is unlimited. These are premium voices. It's incredible. Let's get into some other features. All right. The next set of features I want to show you is the story maker. You'll see here we've got input text, which I just showed you. And again, you get unlimited, at least for now. I don't know how long that'll last, but right now it's unlimited 
text to speech, but if you want to create stories, in this case, I'm going to show you how we can create a play. So in this one, you'll see here, for example, I've got Bernardo. Who's there? And then it's Francisco. Nay, answer me. Stand and unfold yourself. This is how Hamlet starts. I know it is because here it is right here. This is the beginning of Hamlet. And this is just one example. But if you wanted to use Storymaker, this would be fun for you because you'll see here that I'm using one voice for the beginning, uh, for Bernardo, pardon me. Then I'm using a different voice for Francisco. I'm using Onyx. And then it goes back to Alloy, which is the original voice. Let me show you how to do this using the Storymaker functionality. All right, so let's start off with Storymaker. This is a premium feature. I want to note that up front here. The first bit that I showed you, the text to speech is unlimited and it's free, at least as of June 24th, 2024. But the Storymaker is part of their premium package. So for those of you that have, you know, a little bit more extensive needs or want to create stories like I'm going to show you how, you'll see here I've got my premium account open. I've got both a premium and a free account, and on my premium, I have, what, 937,000 credits. Yeah, so I got lots of credits. So here we go. There's two ways to do it. I got to click on Storymaker here up in the top tab, and then we can either import an SRT, which is a sub -right, uh, subtitle rip file. Yes, that's what it is. I just want to make sure I say that right. And, or we can just add in our own conversation. I'll show you both methods. The first one here, I'll just go with the SRT. Now, I happen to have an SRT file. It's from Lethal Weapon 1987. I've got a subtitle rip here, and I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm actually not even going to drag and drop it in. I'm just going to click on Import SRT, and then in my SRT folder, I'll just go ahead and select it. And when I do that, I'll click on Open, and then here you go. We can see here as I scroll through this, it has automatically created the story for me. Now, if we want to go in and do a little more, You'll notice here that if I click on, for example, Alloy, I could change this. It says, Happy Birthday, Daddy. This is the fourth block. I can click on that. And then instead of maybe having this voice, let's go with Nova. So there we go. I've just swapped out the voice. And I can also go in here and change the duration of the silence before. So if you have, like, if, it, if you have no silences, then it just sort of sounds like a conversation without any gaps in the speaking so you can go ahead and fine tune that as you see fit so there you go i've gone ahead and done that this is the first method let me show you the method that i use a little more which is the conversation method all right so we're back in the story maker here and now i'm going to add conversation i just click on that plus button and look at this this is how easy it is to create stories just like this so if i was making like i said i did in the previous one hamlet what would i do i would just go into hamlet and then I would just go find some, let's go, you come most carefully upon your hour. This is by Francisco, so that could be the start of the story. So I would call this Francisco, something like that, and then I would input the text, and then I would either select if I want a silence before or not. In this case, there's no silence because it's the start, and then I would select the voice. So let's go Alloy, but instead of Alloy, we're going to go away from the open AI voices, despite how good they are. Let's go with system voices. There's all of these voices, and a lot of them, I mean, there's so many different good ones here. Like, I mean, let me just scroll through them for you very quickly. Like, there are hundreds of crazy good voices in here. For this one, I'm going to go with, let's see what Tom sounds like. Buck did not read the newspaper. Yes, Tom is an excellent one. I'm going to favorite it while I'm here, and then I'm going to select Tom. And when I do that, you'll see here that the voice is now Tom's voice. Let's go ahead and add in another block. To do that, <laughs> super easy, just hit plus. It just adds in another block or another conversation. And then we'll go back into Hamlet. And then this one we're going to call Bernardo. And this is the second line in the play. So I'm going to call this one Bernardo. And again, I know this is a little bit tedious here. But um, you know what? This is a process. You can, of course, import them like I showed you earlier using an SRT file. So if you want to just, you know, do quickly and you've got an SRT, go ahead and do that. But if you want to do it manually way, you can do it this way as well. So, Barnardo, let's go ahead and change his voice to something else too. So I'm going to click on voice. I'm going to go into system voices here. Now, I've got a bunch of favorite voices. Actually, you know what? I deleted them. Pardon me. So I've only got Tom as my favorite voice right now. But let's go back into system voices. And then let's see what, oh, who was a really good one here? Let's see what Mark, no, Neil. What did Neil sound like? That was the last he saw of the man in the red sweater. That's good. So we're going to select Neil. I like that one. 
and presto, he's now been added in. I'm going to add in a one second gap between text or between the, yeah, the text to speech, because this way it's going to sound like a little bit more of a natural conversation as opposed to just a run on conversation. And then, yeah, let's go with that. This is our first crack at it. I'm going to click create story. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got. All right. So that only took a few seconds here in order to check on your story. All you got to do is click up here at the top in the top bar here, click on history. And then you're going to see it right here. And you'll see here it used 90 credits. It's high quality and it's only six seconds long because I just wanted to show you the technique. I didn't want to show you all the nonsense that goes into making a big, long story. So let's listen to it. Here we go. You come most carefully upon your hour. Tis now struck 12. Get thee to bed, Francisco. You come. Now, did you hear the gap between the two voices? That was the one second gap that I manually put in there. That, of course, is purely optional, but it made it sound a little bit better. And if it's too long or too short, you can always go back and recook it with a different sized gap. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little download icon here. You come most carefully. Up. There we go. That's it. And I'll click on the three dots and I click on download. And literally, I now have a copy of it. OK, so that is the first thing. The next thing I'm going to show you is the document side of things. All right, welcome back. So StoryMaker is fantastic, but I'll be honest with you, it is nothing compared to document. This is an amazing feature. If you've wanted, if you've ever thought about creating an ebook and then having an audiobook made from it with a premium voice, this is the way to do it. In fact, I just did it. Okay, so let's take a look at what I got here. So obviously I'm going to click on document up here. And when you look at it, you'll see here it says .docx, .slsx, PowerPoint, PDF, EPUB, .mobi or mobile text, .txt. All of these different formats work right out of the box. Now let's go into my finder here. I've got one called Deep Learning AI Playbook. And it is a PDF and a PDF is pretty standard stuff. I'm literally just going to drag and drop it on top there. And then before I click create speech, here's what you got to do. Just pick the voice. This is all it takes. Now I've got one here. I just did this by shimmer, but let's listen to another voice here. What was one of the voices that I really liked? I like, let's listen to Lisa. There he lay for the remainder of the weary night. That's a fantastic voice. We're going to do that audio now in Lisa's voice. So I'm going to make sure it's clicked in here. And you also want to make sure that there's a bounding box around it. And then I'm just going to click on create speech. When you do that, it's going to start cooking. And when it's done, it'll say success. You can check it under history. So it's obviously going to take a few minutes because there's 20,000 credits or 20,000 tokens that goes into it. But let's go to history. When I click on that, you're going to see here that this one is processing. But I just did it about a minute ago. And here we go. We've got a full audio book, 20 minutes, 57 seconds long. Let's listen to how good this is. And I've already listened to it. So I already know the answer to it. But this is fantastic. This is a full audiobook. Unbelievable. See deeplearning.ai, all rights reserved. Deeplearning.ai, one AI, artificial intelligence technology is now poised to transform every industry, just as electricity did 100 years ago. That is being read basically by someone that sounds like a person. This does not sound like AI. Now, of course, you can go ahead in there and, you know, if you have an ebook, if you wrote it for your, you know, your own ebook, you can go ahead and space it and add in, you know, semicolons and colons and all that sort of punctuation stuff. But right out of the box, just drag and drop it in there. It sounds that good. Now, if I want to keep a copy of it and download it, of course, I just clicked on the deep learning dot a click that little download button. And then I'm going to click those three dots and download it. And it is downloaded. All right. So there it is. So that's text to speech open AI with the focus on their premium features. Now, if you're wondering how much it costs, it's not even that expensive if you want to use the premium stuff. Keep in mind, again, text to speech in the basic format is free, at least as of June 24th, 2024. You click on these three little lines up here, the hamburger menu. And then when you do that, you'll see pricing plans. Here's just a quick update. Here's a quick look at what it costs. So right now, free, unlimited, create speech from text, as you can see here. Download the audio files. Fantastic. Better than 11 labs, honestly. But if you want to use the premium stuff, six bucks for 200,000 credits. Now, that book, that audio book, which was 20 minutes long, was 20,000 credits. So, I mean, you know, make what you want with that. That's literally like probably close to 10 times that. So, 
you're looking at maybe close to like three hours worth of audio for six bucks on the premium side of things. And that's if you're doing like audio books, for example, then it would perfectly make sense to use this. But there you go, guys. That is text-to-speech OpenAI, TTS OpenAI. Links in the description below. Give it a try. It's awesome. Thanks for watching.